Heroic act by firefighters saved the life of a 72 year old woman that you'll see being pulled out of the car just last week. Her car was swallowed by a sinkhole that formed as she was driving in central El Paso on Yandel near Gateway South. Firefighters and several bystanders spring to action holding the car in place as they remove the woman to keep that car from going into the hole while first responders pull the woman out of the vehicle just moments before it was submerged in the water. Today we hear from one of those first responders to tell us the essential role everyone involved played in the rescue. ABC 7's Brianna Perez has this story live. Brianna. Stephanie, today that sinkhole is still here on Yandel Drive, but I want you to take a look at how it looks right now. As you can see, the hole is no longer notable, but last week the scene here brought the community together to save a life. It's very rare to be able to, to be put in a position to have a minute or two to save someone's life, but that's why we're here, and that's what it's all about, It's just doing the job. Chris Carson, lieutenant at Fire Station 7, was one of the three firefighters at the scene of the sinkhole as first responders and bystanders saved the life of a 72-year-old woman whose car was minutes away from sinking. So my first thought exactly was this is a bad situation, right? This is, this is not good. In charge of providing medical care for the woman, Carson says upon arrival, he witnessed his coworkers prepare to break the back window to save her life. The car is sealed up, right? There's an air pocket that's inside, right? In the passenger compartment. Well, we took that back window out to rescue her. Well, now we've kind of equalized that pressure and water can start coming in. He says that's when the clock started running. Probably about maybe a minute, a minute 30 was how long we had to actually get her out once we had that back window out. Just in time, first responders saved the woman. A rescue Carson says he's never seen before. But he says it wouldn't have been possible without the bystanders. For the bystanders, we're they're actually holding, hold, yeah, they're holding on to the end of these and they're holding on to the car to keep it stabilized so Dylan and Robles can get in there and make the safe. Without those bystanders and the right tools, it would have been a much different story. Grateful for the outcome, Carson says it is rescues like this one that he chose to be a firefighter. When something like that goes, goes wrong, that's what you expect from us. That's, that's what we signed up to do. That's what the fire department means. We're there because we want to go help people. We want to save lives. And El Paso Water says that crews are still working to complete repairs and have not said when this road will reopen. For now, reporting in central El Paso, Brianna Perez, ABC7.